swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asha. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh, okay. Still okay. think I can't fight? You this is a... Give her a hedge. Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Veska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway. What the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> I, I, oh, I got to, I've been really God bad at this. Shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think it's I give two shits about what Croft has to say? The only reason I'm even fucking here. And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon. Just talk to me, Veska. We're done talking. We didn't even start talking. Okay, okay, Veska. This is a uh, this is gonna be I've had. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight. You'd be dead. You wanna help? I'm not going to do that. I'm not fighting you. Okay, maybe I have to. Oh my god. Jesus. She is uh, pretty strong. So what? You're going to kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city. So help Daenerys. We're gonna get rid of the slaves. I mean, get rid of the masters. Not slaves. We like the slaves. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He ah. started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was mm. this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. So you killed him? My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um. I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Maybe you should uh, stop drinking. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. 
take a drink away. I know you won't. I trust her. She's uh, moody, but I trust her. She hasn't let me down so far. <sighs> Sorry I haven't been talking much so far, but there's, there's been a lot of conversations mostly. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Everything. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. It's family. You gotta. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't Please. risk it. Please, Sarah. I don't know. For me. <laughs> Fine. Just stop making that face already. I didn't promise her anything. You owe me for this. <laughs> I don't know. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. I've kept your secrets for you. You know, you're a bastard and whatnot, and the fact that I pretend to like you. You know, if it wasn't for me, you'd have no friends. I don't even like you myself. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah. How long will that be? I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Ah, he Mira, likes me. Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. <laughs> it's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! <laughs> okay. <laughs> What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Is clear. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears enough, are man. not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I see the drink. I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well. Don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. I was being nice to Sarah, saying she was lovely because, you know, it's, he likes her and she likes, she likes him. Gotta be, there's no reason for me to be mean about that. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Aha! Obviously something wrong going on between them, then which one is the one to trust? Oh wow, okay. Find out who's helping Lord Whitehall. I can eavesdrop on the crap. Okay. Eat some food. How about I eavesdrop on these I random people? Right here in the garden. Oh shit. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Okay, they're talking about that guy. So uh, everyone's now talking about that guy who was killed. That's not good. But which one of these two do I want to... I bet you can only talk to one of them or something stupid. I want to eavesdrop on this guy. I'm not sure if... I don't know anything about this guy. He seems like an asshole. The other guy seems nicer, but maybe that's a trick. But I know how to spend it. But how did you manage it? 
Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. It's well, pretty obvious he works for Whitehill. It's pretty obvious he works for the Whitehills. I mean, I think everyone knew that. The question is, though, does that mean I can trust him? Let's eavesdrop on him. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. Ah. I'm on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Okay, so he's leaving the Ironwood business. Let's see drip on these guys. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird? Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no. Okay. Terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Well, that was very useful. Maybe I should talk to Andros. Because maybe if this guy has left the Ironwood business, I know he's working for them. Maybe I should talk to him. Maybe I should talk to him. Huh. Who really knows who I am? Let's talk Lord to him. Andros. Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. I hear your Lord Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing now. Congratulations. Who told you? You think you're smart, don't you? <laughs> that you've figured everything out. It's you pretty have obvious. No idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scare me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mira. Ah, okay. So he's trying to compete with him. Okay, that's good. So actually, maybe I can trust Morgren then. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Huh. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. Ah! <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Okay, interesting. Zoom pushed out the business. So maybe I should have burned that contract then. I don't think I can use him. That is a shame. But we know that this guy knows that Lannister. So let's talk to them. Let's see what we can know about that Lannister. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. 
He seems like a nice guy. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mir is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's <laughs> getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Hmm. Interesting. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. I Damn should it. be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. I was really hoping he could give me some evidence or something about Lyman Lannister, because we know he knows him. Not going to drink the wine. Let's see, who is this man? Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. Oh. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you, thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Okay. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm I don't trust company, this man. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. I'm sorry. Hey. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well, I suppose I could just... Oh, look, Lyman, good for him. What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay <laughs> away from him. Andros. <laughs> we were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Ooh, wow. He's, uh... <laughs> Andros is uh, a bit crazy. Shit, we need to get out of here. Can't let her see me. Oh dear. Lady Marjorie. Ah, thank God, she saved me. Thank God, thank you. Maybe... Maybe I should like, maybe I should trust her more. But that didn't go very well. I learned a little bit, but not really much. Hopefully Lady now we can Mira. talk to him. That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just... Be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. Yeah, it I is pretty important. I may be willing to tell you. Okay. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Oh, my God. Your help oh, no. could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Oh, Jesus. Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. Jesus. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I'm going to betray her. She asked oh my me God, not to I tell can't. anyone. 
I can't believe I'm about to betray her. But Sarah is a bastard. Are you certain? Oh, I can't Sarah believe I did that. Oh the my god. Renamed her. Ooh. Oh, incredibly disappointed. She seems oh my so god. refined. She shouldn't lie to him anyway. I was certain she was born a lady. You can't tell Sarah I told you. Please. No, no, you. You have my word. Ah, oh, thank God. Hopefully. Thank you for being honest with me. It was the least I could do. She is lying to him, I mean. It's her and own now, fault. now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. Ah. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? Yep. You exactly mustn't what I was repeat thinking. that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. I'm worried he's going to tell he her that. that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Ah. Lady Mira? That's... Uh, I can't believe I betrayed her. Well, I really don't like her, and she is lying to him. It, you know, he's going to find out sooner or later. You can't lie to someone like that. Should I really be talking to him? Should I just eat some food? I don't know. What, what am I going to talk to him about? I'm not really sure what to do here, but still. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. His hand's shaking again. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either <laughs> tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? I'm just spilling everything out today, aren't I? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? Uh -oh. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Jesus. But Shit, Andros we're in trouble. Is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... Uh-oh. You bloody traitor. <laughs> That's it. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna die. This is gonna end badly. I'm gonna die. Sell swords. My family's gonna die. He's gonna punch me. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. Oh, he's gonna explode. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm not... Just as usual, Game of Thrones, I don't know if that went well or if that went horribly wrong. 
But basically, I just spilled everything out. Sarah's never going to trust me again. But I've destroyed Andros's contacts. So I guess that's good. I now can hopefully warn my family. Jesus. They'll be destroyed, even with the men we have.